Hey guys, this is a tutorial on how to make an escape menu. So before I was working on another tutorial, by the way, you should go check that out. It's how to make the view, like Fortnite view, slightly off to the side. But anyway, um, if I, so first thing we're going to have to do is create a new folder. I like to keep everything organized. Let's call this widgets or widget. Let's make a new widget blueprint. I'm going to call this escape menu. Okay, now let's go to edit, not plugins. Edit, project settings, input, action mappings, escape, escape. This binds escape, this binds the function escape to escape. So then over here, this is what we know. I like it save on compile always. There we go. So now, this is where we make it look good. I'm going to make a very simple one. It just says escaped. Press escape again. Or better yet. Paused. Size to context. Let's make this a bit bigger. 40? 50. Okay, that's good. Now let's anchor to the center because we don't want it waving all over the place. Let's add in a background blur. I want to set the position to be to 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now let's make this a 1920 by 180. Uh, okay, that, that'll be good. Oh, wait. There we go. Um, that worked. There we go. So now, if we set the blur to something obvious, 30 maybe? Okay, that seems good. Uh, I don't think we have to do anything here. No. Okay. So now let's go back to the third person BP. Let's open this blueprint up. Let's go to the event graph. Right click. Uh, escape. Input escape. Let's add a branch. That is uh, click B. Or B click. And that will create a branch node. Let's make the condition, let's make a variable, is paused. Um, okay, that looks good. And then over here, execute with paused is true. Oh, wait. I completely forgot. It. Or wait, no, we don't need to do anything. I'm sorry. So let's get this condition. And then on false, create widget um uh, let's make it the escape menu I'm gonna drag this off over here create escape menu widget add to viewport let's make that the return value so if it's not open let's create it and then remove Okay. Um. Oh wait. Remove from parent. The target can be that. Would that work? Okay. I really hope so. And then over here. Uh, let's set is paused to be true. Set is paused to be false. Let's grab all of this, drag it out here, click C. Um, pause menu. Okay, let's save it. Let's play and hope it works. Oh, wait, uh, dumb. We need to do it as a standalone game, or else escape will just by default exit the game. Okay, here we are. Loud. 
Oh! I never even made it. Pause the game. Why is there like stuff flashing on my screen? I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay, I made this execute when paused. It does remove it. Um, set is paused to true is paused. It's not what I want. Set is paused to false. Okay. That should work now. Okay. Why can I still move? Oh. I was literally just setting the widget again. Un. Okay, here we go. Set game pause. That's what I was looking for. Now that should work very hopefully. There we go. And now you have your very own escape menu. Uh, that's the end of today's tutorial. I hope you subscribe. And bye.